What's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Depth Teardown. Today we are going to be tearing down a Samsung Galaxy Fold 5, the new Samsung Fold. And we also have a Galaxy Fold 4 on hand, so we are going to do a little side-by-side -side of the two of them, see what differences we can see. And the truth is, there aren't too many differences. From a hardware perspective, these are very similar phones, but ultimately one of the small differences is actually quite a big difference, and you can see it right there. That is that hinge, and of course with a foldable phone like this, the hinge is a big deal, and this hinge sits a lot flatter. It is a more simple mechanism, so it is less likely to have durability issues, although almost certainly there will be some dust getting into that hinge and you can hope that it's going to be small pieces of dust but there's going to be dust so you see those cameras those cameras are i believe identical i think it's totally identical hardware uh 12 megapixel wide angle the 50 megapixel main and then the 10 megapixel telephoto lens that 30x optical zoom there you can see the hinge again and it's a big difference i mean when when the phone sits that much flatter and the phone is marketed entirely around being a foldable it's nice you know i also really like that matte finish on the new fold i think it looks pretty cool to tell you the truth obviously the fold 4 we have is a little scuffed up so maybe that's influencing how i feel about it but i think that all in all aesthetically the Fold 5 is a big improvement, and if that hinge really does have better durability than the Fold 4, then that's good. But this phone is rated IPX8, not IP68, so it has not been tested for dust ingress, and everything I have seen is that the hinge is certainly going to let dust in, and that makes sense. I mean, it's probably really hard to keep dust out of that. And as long as it's not giant pieces of particulate matter, then hopefully it shouldn't affect the sound or the function of that hinge in a perfect world anyways so right now we're doing what we can to get that front that 6.2 inch cover glass off without harming any of the cables so that's why you see that roller we don't use the roller too often but for this one we decided it was worth it the suction cup is also key and the f the screen actually comes down vertically as you can now see and there is a flex cable attached to it that we are going to deal with and then the screen will be free there we go it's a good looking phone for sure i think the internals look really nice really clean and right there you can see that the screen is really not too dissimilar from the fold 4 it's more or less identical so, next we are going to be working on getting into that back glass, which we're going to apply some heat. The isopropyl alcohol that we have on hand, it helps a little, but with these phones, the isopropyl really does not help nearly as much as the iPhone, a lot of other products. So, really, it's just a lot of gentle spudging taking your time, being patient, and with that, you will get your first look at the inside of that back panel. Now we can see those cameras, some more glue, 5G wireless, and of course one of the nice things about this phone as compared to the iPhone or even some other products, of course Apple is really famous for it, but you're only going to be using that Phillips head screwdriver. So I think we have 23 screws. I'll give it a count and give you the correct number in the editing room, but I believe it's 23 screws. And the fact that they're all one screwdriver is really nice. So now we get to working on those flex cables, the plastic face plates, and there is our wireless charging coil as well as the NFC. And next we're going to be getting acquainted with the flex cables that connect to the motherboard. Motherboard is equipped with a new Snapdragon chip, which is pretty nice. Same as the Flip 5, I do believe. 
and you can see it's kind of fun. Those cameras are interlinked. You need to be really precise with cameras, especially when you have three of them, in order to make sure that as things flip between software and hardware, uh, everything is where it needs to be. And there is that main flex cable that connects the motherboard to the daughter board. I actually think it's called a sub PBA uh, with that type C port. I think they call that the sub PBA. There is our 5G antenna, MM wave. And now we can get to work on the screws that have been revealed by that plastic faceplate being removed and take out the motherboard and the cameras come with it. So like I said, the top is that 12 megapixel ultra wide, then you of course have the main and we're gonna disconnect them all so you can see them anyways, but they're connected to the motherboard with those flex cables and as soon as you detach the flex cables, they come with you. Of course the front facing camera is still there, but easy to deal with. That's the main 50 megapixel camera. That is the 10 megapixel telephoto. And now we can get to work on that. I'm, I'm pretty certain it's called a sub PBA board and the type C port has that little rubber gasket to help with water protection. And I do believe that the main phone is indeed dust protected. I just think that they get the X in their rating because the hinge has not been tested. And there's another plastic face plate that is covering the daughter board and the other uh, selfie camera as well. And of course you can see that things are packed pretty tightly, which means there is no room for the S Pen. The new S Pen is 40% thinner. I believe that was the number that I heard thrown around, but it still doesn't fit. Unfortunately, there's not quite enough room for it. So if you do want to use that S Pen and you want to keep it handy, you're going to need to get the outside attachment. There's that daughter board. And our goal was really to do this tear down without breaking any components. So that is it for us. We didn't want to touch that Gorilla Glass, the flexible glass, because it's really hard to remove without breaking. And you can see the battery has that nice pull tab, and that is going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed that video, please check us out at techdep.com. If you have any need for parts, tools, refurbished gadgets, we've got everything you need. We ship internationally, one click, get it quick, to your door, and we also do mail-in repairs. We accept repairs from all over the country. So head on over to TechDep. We've got everything you need, and until then, I'll see you guys next time.